Joining us right now is Senator Kevin Kramer of North Dakota. He is a part of a group of Republican senators who's calling on the Biden administration to make sure that it keeps selling oil and gas leases in federal waters. Senator Kramer, um, Jamie Dimon speaking pretty bluntly about things, as he tends to do. Um, he's of the opinion that it's almost too late. Do you think that's the case? Well, Becky, it's, yesterday would have always been better than tomorrow, but tomorrow is better than waiting another week or a month or six months or a year. But his fundamental point is right in that what's detracted, what's distracted a lot of investment in the oil industry and gas industry and other fossil industries is the long-term prospects of a return on that investment. You can send the right price signals today and you'll get you'll get investment. We know how to produce a lot more oil and gas and we can get back at it, but investors have to see a long-term return. What are the keys that you think um, the administration should be doing to push that, to promote that at this point? Well, because uh, energy on the companies federal... have a lot of incentive when you look at prices. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. But uh, on the one hand, the, probably the easiest thing is to lift the prohibition on federal leasing and then to get about the business of, of reviewing these applications for permits to drill on federal land. There are thousands of them that are that are waiting. So when the president says, well, we've never had, you know, we've got a, a, a record number of leases, but nobody's drilling on, that's because the Bureau of Land Management is sitting on these applications for permits to drill. That would send a strong signal. I think it, some permitting reform would send a signal where they, you knew that <clears throat> there was an end to the litigation for a pipeline that would move product to market, for example. Uh, just how about just the attitude uh, coming from the administration that, that the bridge to a transition can't be a short bridge. Nobody invests in short bridges. They invest in long bridges. I think, frankly, a better trade policy that recognizes that American energy, you know, in concert with our allies, particularly in Europe, Europe, who is right now crying out for help, especially in the natural gas uh, sector, obviously, as they head into winter, for a solution that comes from someplace other than Russia. Uh, and, and instead of seeking help from OPEC plus or Venezuela, uh, Saudi Arabia, let's get back to what we know. And that is that American energy is cleaner than most and, uh, and we know how to produce it. We, we become the exporter.